Now, after all that journey to a civilian government, albeit with a big military uh, influence in the system, to have to go back and have the military take over again may or may not be according to the constitution, but it's an enormous tragic step back for them because there's no future that way. To, and then to arrest Dao An Sang Suu Kyi as well as her ministers and the president and charge them with oh, walkie-talkie offences and things like that. I don't think that's going to help solve the problem. So you really have to go, get back, release a, 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 Aung San Suu Kyi, negotiate with her and her team and work out a peaceful way forward for Myanmar. Outsiders have very little influence on this. Uh, you can ostracize them, you can uh, condemn them, you can pass resolutions or not, but it really has very little influence on what the Myanmar's will do. It had zero influence the last time round uh, and the only impact was for lack of anybody willing to talk to them, they fell back on those people who were willing to talk to them, which was China and to some extent India. And it was an uncomfortable position for them. And well, but it did not cause them to decide, I must do what the Americans or the Europeans or, the, or even the Asi other ASEAN countries would have preferred them to do. I don't think it's a matter of uh, economic considerations for I mean, benefit from trade with Myanmar. The volume of trade is very small for us and I think for many other countries. Question is, what can make a difference to them? And if you do impose sanctions, who will hurt? And it will not be the military or the generals who will hurt. It will be the Myanmar population who will hurt. You will deprive them of foods, of medicines, of uh, essentials of opportunities for education. How does that make things better? And to use lethal force against civilian unarmed demonstrators, I think, is just not acceptable. It's disastrous, not just internationally, but it's disastrous domestically because it means that the civilians, everybody in Myanmar knows, you may try and squeeze down the internet, but this word, News gets around and the Myanmar population knows who's on their side. I hope that wisdom will prevail as it did the last time and the Tatmadaw will conclude that to go the military route does not lead anywhere and they have to work out an arrangement with a, with a civilian government which has been democratically elected.